Yeah, we're gonna do this on the floor, hope you don't mind. If you're a new Artist Alley vendor and you're trying to figure out what's an easy to set up backdrop display that's foolproof and pretty much stand the test of time and never fall down and just look damn good while doing it so people can see your prints from afar and wanna come up and say, hey, how much for that one? Well, I'd like to share with you my own display that I've been using for several years now and hasn't failed me once. No, look at the puppy. <clears throat> well, if you're gonna do this on the floor like I did, I would suggest maybe cleaning up all the excess pet hair if you have a dog or a cat or some other small rodent. They shed a lot and you don't want to get that stuff all up in your business, like literally your art business. So well, let's clean up, shall we? Now that is the bravest dog I have ever seen. Have you ever seen a dog that brave standing up against the evil vacuum monster? Hold steadfast, young pug warrior. All right, now that the floor is acceptable, uh, the first thing you're gonna want is the perfectly fitted clear plastic sheet protector with an adhesive strip at the top to seal up nice and clean. Now you can find these at any craft store, just make sure they are the perfect fit for the print size that you are making and selling. And these are pretty sturdy, they last quite a while. A lot of people like to laminate or just use the prints themselves as like a display copy that gets destroyed every time you put it up and tape it up. Uh, save yourself the repeated cost and let's just tape directly to the sheet protector. So then let's talk tape. We've got four different kinds of tape available, you know, the most common ones that you'll see in every household pretty much. But let's start with what is the weakest of the tapes, the mass masking tape and painter's tape. These are paper-based tapes. They are made for masking and making clean lines when you're painting. So if you put any load on them, like it's gonna rip. Uh, so let's just toss them out. I've actually seen entire artist displays tumble to the ground because this tape is so weak. Now let's talk about everyone's hero, the duct tape. It'll make your display look tacky as hell and actually tacky. It'll leave that tacky, nasty residue that won't let you reuse anything. So let's just throw it away. All you'll need for your display to be sturdy and clean as clear as glass is just some packaging tape. Each print will only need about a one inch, maybe two inch square on each side. Uh, you can use a cheap dispenser of transparent tape, but I find the packaging tape is as sturdy as tape can get while still looking nice and clean. And the greatest advantage is that this combo is modular. You can actually switch the prints around if you want to change it up for a display or two. And one other thing you'll need is a nice long straight edge. Uh, a measuring tape should work. Uh, if it's strong enough, this one, it was kind of flimsy. Ugh. Ugh. We'll make it work. We really want our displays to last long if we're gonna do multiple conventions, especially during those busy convention seasons. So put it right along the straight edge and make sure that there's no crookedness at all because if it's a little crooked, if one column is a little crooked, the rest is gonna look a little off as well and it'll just be a tumbling domino effect that you're not gonna like. So right here, I'm starting with the horizontal column on my display and I'm just gonna tape each edge while I'm lined up with the straight edge of the, uh... and once you've got them all taped up, just test that durability. I mean, look at it. You can whip this thing around back and forth and up and down and this will stop a bullet no it really can't but it'll stay up for the rest of convention season at least <laughs> so you're gonna want to grab all your prints and bag those babies up make sure to remove all excess air and get it nice and flat and nice and square. And for our next step, you're gonna wanna go and paint or Photoshop and just plan your layout. I always have an image handy on my phone that I can reference to and by the magic of the internet, it's done. Uh, not really. Now see, this is why we're doing it on the floor because the floor has a lot of room so we can lay them all out just like we would have them on our backdrop. Make sure you have a nice flow to your layout where the customer's eyes can wander and just see all the beautiful things that they want to buy. And now for the most tedious step, we're gonna tape up each side of the front of these sheet protectors so they're connected in columns. Don't tape across to the row, that will just make it harder to store. Tape them up and down. And to use that straight edge, trust me, you're gonna thank me once your display looks beautiful and straight and neat and not crooked. Ugh, I've had many mistakes before where it wasn't crooked and had to retape, but that's the beauty of sheet protectors, you can retape them. And the beauty of this whole setup is not only that it's modular, but it's easy to store. Just fold up each one of those columns nicely nice and neat. And what we're gonna do to make it easier if you have a helper at your table who helps you set up the backdrop, we are going to label each column from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on, so that when we're setting up, you won't even need to, you know, help. <laughs> your helper's hired for a reason, so let them do it and let them see that it's all number coded. And what's the code? Column one is column one. It starts on the left, just like reading a book. 
Look at that. So we're gonna fold up each one of these beautiful columns and we're going to number them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And for that last seventh column, since we have some horizontal prints, uh, we're gonna have to break it up into two slots here. We're gonna have seven top and seven bottom. That's just how we'll label it. Make it nice and easy for whoever is graciously helping us during our convention adventures. Uh, be sure to thank them, by the way, because those people are amazing. Oh, wow, look at that. Our entire display in a single stack. But the true question is, how's it gonna look? Let's go to the convention floor and find out. Here we go. Well, right off the bat, I just want to stress how amazing it is to use those sheet protectors with the adhesive strip that seal up nice and clean because that's what makes it modular. Modular means you can modulate it. <laughs> so if you want to switch around the print display, you can, and it makes it super easy. You just open the back, the untaped side, and slip out the two prints that you want to switch around and move to different areas. It's as easy as that. And I like to use a black curtain and an LED strip of beautiful lights at the top just to make it look as professional as possible. Wow, that... That was quick. Was that easy and quick? Thank God, I would I would set up for everyone. Um, so if this helped you out in any way, if you are an artist and you're even just considering, you have that little inkling in the back of your mind that you'd like to table at an artist alley in a convention of any size, but you're kind of nervous because you don't know how to set up a nice, clean, beautiful backdrop to display all your art. Well, I'm here to tell you, this is the easiest, sturdiest, cleanest and damn it, it's just one of the best ways to display your art at the conventions. I've seen and tried hundreds, maybe even thousands of different display options, and you know, a lot of them are beautiful. I've even tried, you know, the whole like wire grating shelves bridge that goes above your head. Oh, that one was nightmarish. But if you can shell out just a little bit of extra money to buy that nice metal backdrop stand and a few clips so you can put your art up, you don't even need it to look that professional. Just get it started. Well, I mean, that's it for now. I wish you the very best in your artist career, especially if you're just starting out. I believe in you. We all believe in you. And if you have any questions or further comments, please let me know down below the video. And hey. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my patrons that make this video possible, as well as huge parts of my art career. I could not be here if it wasn't for them. And if you'd like to take this even further and not just know how to set up at convention, but actually build an artist business, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be sharing all my tips and tricks for a successful artist career. Thanks again for watching. I'm Jet Falco, and I'll see you in the next one.